You know what's better than a Mustang? Two Mustangs. At first, I didn't even think of using this plane because of its unusual design. Just like many strange vehicles in War Thunder, the F-82 twin Mustang looked like something built for a very specific purpose, which is not always practical in game environment. But when I eventually tried it, it turned out that despite its strange appearance, this plane flies just like a regular fighter. And additionally, it has pretty good close air support capabilities. This plane has customizable loadout with definitely above average weight limit. Most notably, one of the loadout options includes 2000 pounds bombs. Not every plane can carry such heavy bombs, especially a couple of them. They were one of the most useful things in ground realistic battles because almost every attack successfully sent the opponent's tank back into hangar. They are so powerful that occasionally I ended up with double kill despite I wasn't even aware that there were more vehicles in the area. Additionally, they are located at the center of the aircraft making it easier to drop them more accurately. Though it's not like you need a lot of accuracy for a bomb of this size. The more explosives you have, the less skill is required. This teammate can confirm. He must angry. The plane can also carry smaller 500 and 1000 pound bombs, but the only advantage they offer is that the plane can carry up to 4 of those. But they are less reliable and require you to spend more time at low altitude in the tank area, where the twin Mustang is most vulnerable, because it is not a good turn fighter especially while still carrying bombs. By default, the F-82 has 6 machine guns. It is a great weapon against air targets and soft ground vehicles. They are located at the middle wing of the aircraft, so all bullets fly close to each other, which is especially useful in long-range head-on engagements. There are 2400 rounds in total. In most cases, it's enough to last for a whole battle, especially when used sparingly. For example, I am a spray and pray type of player, and even I almost never had to return to the airfield to refill machine gun ammo. Though it might have something to do with crashing into things. There is also an option to add a gun pod with 8 machine guns to increase the firepower even more, which might sound like a lucrative choice, since this loadout does not increase the respawn points cost, but first of all, the gun pod uses Browning M2 machine guns, which have significantly smaller rate of fire compared to the default Browning M3 machine guns, so the firepower increase is not as significant as it might appear. And it uses the middle pylon slot, which is the only one that can hold 2000 pounds bombs. Considering that the default machine guns are perfectly capable to deal with any soft target, I don't see a reason to sacrifice this slot and carry an additional undroppable 800 kg gun pod at all times. Not being able to destroy something with inbuilt brownings is usually an accuracy problem, which is not a firepower but more of a skill issue. It is also possible to carry HVAR rockets. They are not very powerful. It requires a direct hit to destroy a tank, which is difficult to do. My main reason of using them was to spam them into SPAAs that are often open top vehicles so can be destroyed easier. Rockets would allow me to attack them from relatively safe distance which was especially relevant towards the end of the match when half of the opponent's team have already lost their tanks and jumped into SPAAs. But such long range attacks wasn't very effective. It is still better than nothing, but only if releasing them as soon as possible, preferably as soon as reaching the tank area. Once all the HVARs are launched, the pylons are dropped and the plane performs normally. Otherwise, as long as the plane carries the rockets, they create a lot of drag which hurts flight performance. Talking of which, I expected this double plane to be clumsy, like twin-engine bombers or something like that. 
but it was surprisingly pleasant to control. Especially nice was the roll speed. It took just a short press of a button and the plane had already rolled more than I intended. The F-82 is not the best aircraft for turn fight, but when someone got on my 6, usually I was able to disengage by simply flying away, because this plane is faster than most of its battle rating opponents, and remains controllable even when diving at very high speeds, which is perfect for boom zooming. In ground realistic mode, enemy planes usually lose all altitude and spend most of their time circling around the tank area looking for ground targets, at the same time becoming easy target for fast planes like twin Mustang. But sometimes in this game mode there are not enough air targets to justify one of the team members spending his time a few kilometers above everyone else and hoping that someone will choose to respawn in a plane. Just like most aircraft, F-82 has some basic protection, but additionally, because of unusual design, this plane can survive hits into critical areas that for other planes would be deadly. For example, losing one pilot doesn't mean that the fight is over, and they are sitting quite far from each other, so it's unlikely that both of them will be knocked out at the same time. Or when one of the engines is broken, the plane can still reach the airfield or even continue fighting to some extent, despite being damaged. Also, the plane has self-sealing fuel tanks and fire extinguishers, so if the plane was on fire, it doesn't necessarily mean that I was in danger. It simply made my plane look more badass. I would rate this plane 7 big red buttons that you are not allowed to press, out of 10. I would use this plane for quick and very effective close air support with the biggest bombs, and as soon as I got rid of that weight, gained some altitude and switched my focus to air targets. Occasionally I would dive down and destroy a squishy ground vehicle with machine guns, but each dive cost speed and altitude, making F-82 more vulnerable to enemy planes because speed is the main advantage this plane has against regular single-engine fighters. Unless they carry bombs, they will almost always outperform twin Mustang in turn fighting. In ground realistic battles, it felt like this plane has two phases. Very useful one, while still having bombs and dropping them on enemy tanks, and pretty useless one when flying a few kilometers above waiting for enemy fighters to appear. And occasionally when they didn't respawn, it felt like I was just wasting time and not contributing enough to help the teammates.